Shopify internet. In this video, we're going to learn everything about Shopify Hydrogen Loaders. Well, if you're familiar with Shopify Hydrogen, you probably know that it's based on the Remix framework, which is a full stack JavaScript framework. And by full stack, we mean that some of the code when you're using Remix, the Remix framework, some of your code is executed on the server and some of your code is executed on the front end, okay, on the browser, right? And in the case of loaders, they are one of the, uh, the, 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 the parts that are executed on the server. And their, their role is simply to fetch the data from your database, from your API, from your stuff from the API, uh, and then send those data to the component. And this is perfectly illustrated by this uh, diagram here, right? So the user, let's say the user visits the page, okay? The request is sent to the server, and then the loader is kicked and it's it started right once the load is done fetching the data from your cms your database or whatever it returns that information to the component as props all right and then the component is rendered right and then from the browser by uh, interacting with the application all right the user may change the state of that information of the data all right and once that happens an action is triggered. So when the user performs an action, okay, an action is triggered to persist the new state based on the user interaction to the server. And because the data have changed, right, the loader is gonna reach um, the loader is gonna be a rerun in order to give the new uh, latest version of the data to the user. So that's a perfect data flow. Uh, that has that was implemented in the Remix framework, and these are, um, in simple words, what the loader is provides the data to the component. The user, the, the component renders the UI using those data, and if you look at the simple example here, before actually looking at our hydro, the specific case of hydrogen, all right, you can see here in this example, this function is a loader, all right, and it gets the request. Right, the user, let's say the user has visited this route, the request, based on the information of the, in the request, we know what the user is looking for. So we get what he wants. And in this case, he is looking for a user, right? And, and we return those props, right, from the loader, and we can consume them in the component, which is basically the, the page, all right? And you can see here, everything that was returned from here is accessible in our component right so now to put that into practice in the specific case of our shopify hydrogen the demo store that we did install in previous videos so if you come here to the collection page right if i refresh here you remember um when we install this we have the collections handle here that i have opened for you this is the loader in that uh, particular route and the default component right the default component here which is basically the route that is going to be the, the the content of the page right that is going to be a return so if i return let's say nothing here nothing is going to be displayed in the in the return you see nothing okay but we don't want to return nothing we want to return the actual collection that was requested by the user all right and if i look again carefully like i was say, i was saying earlier the loader runs on the server okay so if we do let me collapse like this and collapse like this okay so we can see both at the same time so if i refresh this page you can see that we have the handle here all right we have the handle that i'm displaying here if i visit the women page you can see the handle for the women is the is console log here but you cannot find that in the console for the in the console of the browser if i open the console of the browser and i refresh here if i do a console log you what you see instead is the collection that i'm console logging here so if i comment this out for now and i refresh clear this out and i refresh the page you see we're not console logging anything anymore right and especially we're not console logging the handle which again is a proof that the loader is only executed in the server unlike right the collection which is the actual dom element the actual component that we want to return to the user which is in turn executed on the front end right you see we have it here like this okay and that's pretty much it as far as um 
uh, Remix Loaders goes. But one last thing I want to show you is a type of query that is sent when you execute the Remix Loader, all right? And this is to contrast it with what happens when we are uh, executing a Remix action, okay? So if we refresh this page again with the uh, Network tab opened, okay? If we refresh this and we look at the, the women, uh, collections women query okay let me open this you see it's a get request all right so a loader in essence is a get endpoint right you can see this as very uh, you can very much see this as a, as a get endpoint that is co-located with the component that is being rendered right so you have get a get request being sent and the response is the html right which is why um it's called a server side rendered framework right because you see here that uh remix is not just returning the props um that that are here all right so th this collection here the, the the component is also executed on the server side okay and the, co the html is streamed uh, okay the html is streamed to the to the user like this so that's why the response for this get request is actually html all right not just json all right i hope this is clear i look forward to seeing you in the next video and if you like this content please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the video and if you're looking for any um help with your shopify hydrogen store please give, give us um, um, um send us a message on liftedcommerce.com contact us thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one ciao